let's say that the role of the sacred masculine is to be a good father, good son, and good lover to the feminine, to matter, to the earth, to nature. Uh, the good father um, protects and and provides and creates safety and hold, holds a safe space and protects the perimeter. Um, the, the son gratefully and willingly receives the abundance that is offered. And the lover uh, courts his beloved by offering gifts that demonstrate his fitness to serve life. So I think that the protector instinct is hijacked okay. and diverted onto serving ends that are inimical to the true goal of protection, serving you know the, the, the opposite. How do you incite a population to war fever? You talk about the threat to the nation, to the to the women and the children, you know, and how monstrous the other side is. So you have to um, restrict that protector instinct to a narrow subset of humanity and of life. Uh, so that doesn't mean that that the protector instinct is bad. It's just that it needs to be expanded. And what narrows it is a set of ideologies. For example, the ideology of nationalism. The ideology of racism, yeah. the ideology that humans are the only beings here. When we undo those ideologies, then the protector instinct can operate in its full domain.